Y'all know what time it is. First load, first drop of the day. We out here again on another day of the grind. It's cold outside. It's 27 degrees out here, man. I don't know where y'all at out there in the world, but if y'all in the heat right now, y'all better enjoy it. Cause we out here grinding in the cold. And I'm not gonna lie, I be out here doing, I be out there doing push-ups. Cause you gotta, you gotta keep your, you know, your physique and everything tight when you out here. I be out there doing push-ups. Get back in the truck, I be nearly froze. But uh, what's good with y'all? We back again. Um, today. I want to talk about how like I, I got I got the opportunity and I got blessed to be able to start my own company after three months. In my opinion, it's it's really like divine time. Cause not not everybody getting the trucking industry in three months or a couple months later able to do that. And I, I can't even give myself the credit for becoming an owner operator so quick. Um, cause there's so much in this game that that needs to be learned. And honestly, I would recommend everybody go through their steps and everybody do follow the procedures with a company and mess up and make your biggest mess ups with a company. Because when you don't, and when you get out here and you do it and it's, it's all a liability and all the responsibilities on you, that'll make trucking not fun because, you know, having a company and stuff like that is bigger than just making a lot of money. You gotta, you gotta remember that, uh, you gotta take on all the responsibility. You gotta take on all the stress. You gotta take on everything because, you know, nine times out of 10, your name is attached to that company. So, it's so many categories in this truck industry that I know a lot of a lot of uh, individuals who, who figure it out, you know, we, you gotta pay. You gotta pay to, to, you know, learn the game. Which I think you, you could pay to you can pay for somebody else's experiences and and from their eye view of the industry but until you experience it yourself you're not gonna really have that physical experience and knowing what what you're doing out here and what it really takes so that's why you know i wouldn't i wouldn't recommend nobody rushing to starting a company it's so many things that come with starting a company uh beyond just having a truck and starting up a truck uh from taxes to man operating expenses to insurance to uh, factoring companies, there's so much. And these just small gems that uh, I had to educate and actually experience hands-on, not from any videos, to know how key it is out here. Um, starting a company was one of the best decisions I could have ever made in my life as a young man because I look at it like this, even if it don't grow or I don't get 10 trucks in the first year, I'm continuously learning and, and, and leveling up as I go. And that's what life is about. It's not like a quick race to the, to the finish line and then you look back like, dang, you know, not, not enjoying the process. Like I enjoy the process. I enjoy all of this because it, it makes me realize that I gotta continue to grow out here and I still gotta learn. And in this truck industry, you're never, you never know too much. I don't care if you've been in this industry for 40 years. We never know every single thing because it's so much to uncover that it's just like, why not enjoy the process? Why not enjoy every step of the way so that you can you can face it hands on and be able to feed it back to others because you actually embraced it and enjoyed it. So one of the key things for me when I first started my company was like, dang, you know, I got my own company. Like, you know, it, it's it's just a different type of feeling. It's a good feeling, but in my opinion, I don't think business and running a trucking company is for everybody. Now, can everybody do it? Yes, for sure. But is it for everybody? I don't I don't think that's I don't hold that to be, you know. Uh, 100% true because some people, you know, you're better off just working for a company and, and you know, going to work, leaving, going home. And that's cool. I think that's 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 a good thing if you're not a, a business minded or a business savvy or a very um, headstrong person because this stuff could really, it could really make or break you. And at 21 years old, starting that company I, I just i look at it like it's god's grace because i'm not gonna lie i didn't i didn't foresee myself actually you know jumping in this trucking industry leaving school and then instantly starting a company I, I did not see that i didn't see that coming so that's how i know like some things just be divine and you just gotta man embrace it and keep it pushing but 
example, like I was studying business in school, and uh, it's funny because we can we can do book work, we can do book work all the time, and you know read books. Like I, I read a lot of books, and you can read books every day, all day, but until you you go and try to put it into action and put it into practice, it's just another book. I was studying business in school, and I uh, my my coach was actually my man. I don't know. This this was like the opportunity for me to put all those things that I was I was learning in school and um, with accounting, with all that stuff, learning how money works, all that stuff. I was able to kind of um, make make tangible out here in the trucking industry because believe it or not, it's so many different categories that maybe one day I'll, I'll shoot a video about that that entails this industry and that allows it to be profitable or allows it to, to not be profitable for it to make sense everything we do in life needs to make sense for us to even do it you know to start this truck up you need to be looking at several categories to know if the load makes sense you know if the fuel if you know when you got to pay your account for taxes uh, all these different things to keep this business and keep your trucking business running so man this is just a little bit of, of why one of the best decisions of my life was to start a trucking company at the age of 21 and how I'm just going to continue to grow this. And guess what? Y'all get to witness this and, and see from the inside uh, how it's all possible. It's it's not a facade. It's not imaginary. This is real life. Um, my trucking company is Low Transportation LLC. Beautiful thing from... It's, it's just so many things in the industry. And uh, I had to sit down and show y'all like, run this like a business beyond just looking at the, the, the money that you grossing or even the money that you net because everything got to be reinvested. But that's a whole nother conversation. I just want to let y'all know, you know, sometimes the best decision we could ever make is to start our own company and just grow and build like that. I mean, that was the best thing that I did leaving college. Uh, and just to see it grow little by little is like something that makes me happy every day. Other than that, we back on the grind. We about to take this empty and deliver it and just keep moving forward and keep knocking at this trucking industry step by step. Keep giving y'all game so that we all can grow and we all can continue to rise out here and uh, change the trajectory of our family lives. I'm going to end this like this. Stay tuned for more content. Keep rocking with me. And we're going to keep rising, man. We're going into a new year, new beginning, new goals. And we're going to keep going up. Peace.